Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Thursday, the 26th of October. And not a pretty picture with the S&P. We're right at the bottom of that falling trend channel, which has been in place since uh, early July. 41.85, the nominal level there below 41.85 on an end-of-day close basis. Some support, I suppose, from back in May around 40.50 uh, to 40.60. But really, the, the most obvious place for this market to go would be down to 40.25 and the floor of that rising trend channel from back in August last year. So rather disappointing picture there. This stage only back above the 4260 area, recent uh, resistance for the market would even begin to delay the uh, breakdown scenario over the near term. Onto the stocks and uh, here we start off with Blue Hat and uh, you can see that uh, the shares uh, all but hit that uh, Second target that we had there around uh, the $3 mark. I think the uh, high yesterday actually on $3. So uh, that's a win. End of day close above $3 could start the shares on the journey towards a higher target there. July resistance line projection from last year at $4.30 as soon as the end of next month. Upside value while we're above the $2.50 area, which was the initial target here on Blue Hat. Moving along to a new name, and the new name is uh, Cassava. Here we may have a broadening triangle base. The uh, sizzle here is that we've had a gap close by signal. So it's a bear trap and then um, back above the top of the gap there around $17.40. Above that, we're looking for up to uh, $24 and maybe $25 by the end of next month. Some resistance there uh, just above the 50-day line. But it looks as though with that gap close, we have a bona fide turnaround prospect at Cassava. A stock we've looked at uh, recently, and uh, that might be uh, back in play, is uh, GDEV. And here you can see we've broken a line of resistance from back in August. That was around the $2.50 area above that. We're looking for the shares to return to the area of the 50-day moving average and the top of that broadening triangle there around $3.70 by the end of next month, or hopefully even sooner than that. We're looking at Ikena, and uh, here another broadening triangle base. Uh, Bear trap from below the old support there from back in August, $3.90. And above that, we're looking for the shares to hit up to uh, $5.80 by the end of next month. Obviously, if you're cautious, you wait for an end-of-day close through the 50-day moving average at $4.30. So quite a nice setup there at uh, Ikena. Next up is stock which I think is new to uh, the uh, chart breakers. It's uh, Stagwell. And here we've broken... Out of this falling wedge, the level there, $4.55. Above that, we're looking for up to $6 by the end of next month. And uh, the only proviso would be that uh, some people might want to wait for an end-of-day close through the 50-day line around the $4.85 level. But uh, we're basically there now, so it looks as though it is on its way. Moving along to uh, Stride, and uh, here the picture is a massive uh, unfold gap to the upside. I suppose it echoes what we saw back at the beginning of the year. Top of the channel here, roughly around the $56 area. So that's what we're shooting for over the near term. While we're above yesterday's support area, say $50 or just below that, probably uh, for a further move towards 56 on stride. The uh, next stock is uh, also a new one, Precipio. Uh, here we've got a beautiful turnaround here, inverted head and shoulders, broken the neckline there around $8 and looking for the shares to fill the gap up to uh, $12 by the end of next month, that gap down from back in June. So uh, hopefully this will be a, a nice charting win, especially with the 50-day line now rising on Precipio. We've looked at the following stock before, and uh, let's see if it's uh, back in business, Renovara. Uh, here we've got uh, rising trend channel from back in uh, March. Floor of the channel there around the uh, $2.30 area, so we might have to go back to that. Otherwise, the initial target here up to $3.40 over the next week or two and then back to retest the best levels of uh, this month, around $5 plus, hopefully by the end of next month. But uh, you might want to wait for the 50-day line to clear there before deciding what to do. Next up is the interestingly named uh, Scholar Rock. And here we've got a broadening uh, rising, trend well, rising trend channel base. Top of the uh, channel there from March as high as $11.50. And we're looking for that while we're above the floor of the, the latest gap, around $7.80. Uh, so that gives you a reasonable uh, journey, hopefully by the end of next month. Nice bounces off the rising 50-day line in recent weeks. We return to Taisha, and uh, here you can see that Taisha Gene Therapies has bounced off 
uh, basically the old resistance on the uh, way down around the two dollar level above two dollars we're looking for a retest of uh, the september resistance through three dollar seventy by the end of next month once again if you're cautious you'll probably wait for an end of day close through the 50-day line before assuming that it's safe to go or come out of the woodwork united universal uh, security instruments is next and here we've uh, hit our target there the top of that rising trend channel from back in december by quite some distance so above uh, so above three dollars fifty which is basically that was the target looking for a new target now as high as four dollars sixty by the end of next month and the way things are going uh, it could be even sooner than that it might even be the end of uh, this month on with that kind of momentum that we've got there finishing off with werewolf and uh, the picture here is one of uh, Tentative recovery, broadening triangle base from June. Uh, just trying to get through that uh, 50-day line there around $2.40 above that. Looking for $4 by the end of next month, which is the main uh, 2023 resistance area for the shares. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.